lady to impress us with some knowledge. Yes, and looking fabulous while doing it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, first question is talking about ferns. Uh, ferns, rather, my wife has been a genius in growing. One problem we think they're too big for their pot. Can we divide them and repot? Okay, that's a Boston fern, commonly called, and it's a it's a common fern because they grow so well. Um, I'm just gonna. I remember the movie in Steve Martin, and I think the '70s, where he was the lonely guy. What, wasn't he supposed to buy one of these? That was like his girlfriend. Anyways, side note. <laughs> so yes, you can divide Boston ferns and pretty much any fern because they have a fibrous root system. I would wait till the temperatures warm up a bit, but if that looks like it's been outside and handling the cold just fine, but I would still wait. But a serrated knife works the best. And once again, that's why I don't have any bread knives in my house because they all go outside <laughs> to dig up and divide up root balls. But yes, um, looks great. Just go ahead and use a serrated knife. Okay, one more real quick. Okay. Uh, the bark on some of my Japanese maple branches started to peel. Is this normal? No, it is not. And what happens usually with Japanese maples, people put them on the west side or south side, and they get sunburn, and then they blister, and then that allows fungus, bacteria, or this bored insect. So always whitewash or plant Japanese maples on an east or north side. Prune those off to hopefully prevent any infection or bores that may have entered already. So. Not All right. Enough. How can people get a hold of you when you're not on the show? Uh, Marlene, the plant lady on Facebook, or Simon Says Garden on Instagram. There you go. She's Emmy sticking around. You can send those emails to us for the duration of the show, the plant lady at KMAXTV.com. All right. Stick around. We got more of the big show coming up. Don't go away. All right. Playing us out. Playing us out.